Hello and welcome to today's video where we're looking at Micro Machine Arcades. And we have two models here and we'll be looking at this one. I think both machines are actually exactly the same but this one here is available from Poundland and it is £5. And it comes with 200 games. Where this one comes with 250 games and is available from my memory for about, I think I paid about £13 for this. I think, I'm not too sure. I think it was like something like £13. Though I have seen them uh, in down to about 9 99 Maybe less at the minute, I'm not too sure, I have to check on that. But this one has 50 games less so this one has 200 games built in 2.5 inch display play games anywhere P perfect for any perfect for any game room office and display case powered by three AAA batteries not included myarcadegaming.com where is where you can get that one from or see what it actually is and this is one we're going to actually open up and look at maybe these are from the same people I'm not too sure play magnificent magnificent <laughs> magnificent built-in 16-bit games use any double uh, alkaline batteries sports up to three hours playing time yeah I'm not actually too sure these are 16-bit most of the games look about 8 bit to me. And I'd be surprised if they're anything more than um, clones of NES games. So this one has 250 built, uh, 240 built in games. I'm going to open it up and have a look. So we'll have a list of games here. Yes, and most of these look like some kind of nest clones. Ice climbers. I'm definitely be surprised if Nintendo licensed any games to these. Let's we'll see if we can find any more Nintendo games. Um doo -doo -doo -doo. Box Jump, that's Qbert, definitely. Not sure who makes that. Rocket Man. Mm-hmm. Maze Bomber. That's Bomberman. Worms. Battle Zone. Wing Fighter. Yep, these are definitely just rip-offs. And there is our arcade. Yep, and we need to take the screw out again. I hate when these things actually have screws in them. There's no need for it. I know they don't want to put clips on because they break easy, but, but this one actually has a clip. Why do you need a clip and a screw? It makes no sense. Yep, that's out. And we have three batteries that we shall place into the unit and actually see what it's like. Yep, 
Yep, I'm going to put that screw back in. The on off button on the back. I'm not actually sure what's going on there. These batteries are fully charged, so they should work. I'm not actually sure what's happening there. Maybe it's because of no, alkaline batteries are never chargeable, and they're not going to any kind of charge. I'm going to try another set of rechargeable batteries and see if it's actually rechargeable batteries that are actually doing it because they don't hold enough voltage in them. Yep, the batteries must have been dead. This seems to be working. And I'm going to have to zoom in to this picture so you can actually see what it looks like. And there we have something. This, this is the best I can get. And we shall have a look at what games we have. Let's have a look at arcade. No, in fact, we'll have a look at sports first. We'll go through this, each section. VR tennis. Penalty shootout. Let's have a look at penalty shootout. That should be fun. For some reason, you're going to have to press the A button and not the B button. Yes, I scored. Oh no. I definitely went. Is this back to front? I don't think I've got any control over this player actually. That definitely didn't go there. I was going to the, to the left hand side, this side. Yep, that's rubbish. I'll try something else. Six aside football. What's this? It's actually a line. Why is there a line down it? I never noticed that, but there's actually a line down. It's 
switches off. For some reason, is it is this some kind of line down? It looks like it's broken already. That's great. Nope, I don't want to play any of these games. Look rubbish. Smart bomber. And it's some kind of Bomberman clone. That seems to be unplayable. Why isn't it going past the top bit here? There's nothing blocking it. Yeah, he just walked through that bomb, didn't he? Rubbish. Balloon zone. This is going to be balloon fight, isn't it? How did I guess this wouldn't be balloon fight? Imagine getting this game for Christmas when you had a NES. Even when it was on Wii U for 30 pence, it was too much. Yep, I don't want to play that. Ghost Adventure, I'll try that. God, these games are appalling. How do you actually get back to them? UFO, let's try UFO. And we have a knockoff of Space Invaders. But it's going the opposite way. And what's supposed to be fun about this? Nothing by the looks of it. I'm not going to play that. Bug fight. Try this one. 
Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. So we'll have a, a life flow force clone. What happened there? Are them power ups or some kind of barrier? That's just the same as UFO. Stage two, what, what am I even supposed to do? I'm just shooting these birds flying past, that's it. Ah. Dragon Den. Press start. Actually has some music, this one. Wait. This is exactly the same as the last game I played. No, I don't want to play that either. Let's see. That was shooters. Let's try puzzles. There must be a Tetris clone on here somewhere. Try magic balls. Oh no. It's one of those cheap arcade things. I'm not sure what that is, but that's not very good.
Lucky Ball. This looks looks like Ness Pinball. I'd be surprised if it isn't Ness Pinball. Or some kind of clone of it. Try something else. Nope. It'd be nice if they give you and some instructions to actually tell you what you're gonna actually do in the game. Level zero. Let's try level zero. Okay, game over. That was quick. Yeah, that's, that doesn't look very good. I'm not actually sure that B button actually works on any of these games. Well, that's it. If if I, I, well, I don't even I can't even s the actual <laughs> arcade machines actually damaged before I even get to play on it with it lying down it. And um, the games are rubbish. There's two hundred forty of them, and they all seem to be the same game. So if you'd like to be disappointed, please go ahead and buy this arcade machine, if you don't want to be dis disappointed, don't buy it. It's up to you. But actually, if you're going to buy one of these, just get the Poundland one for £5, because it might have 40 games less, but they're probably better games. I'm not even going to bother opening the Poundland one, because they're both obviously made by the same manufacturer. Look exactly the same. This a sticker decal is a bit different. There's nothing. There's no difference between what they look like. They're both the same shape. They're both the same size. Both the same screens. So basically, what we'll have here is a complete load of rubbish. And if you like that kind of thing, go ahead and buy them. Maybe you want to play some next year, like your retro arcade miniatures. What you have, they look fine. Next year, other ones, as long as you don't play them or let anybody else play them and see what kind of dis disgusting kind of machines they are. Maybe maybe you can flash them if you know how to do that kind of thing. You can actually flash these things, I'm not too sure. If you actually open them up and see what's inside of them, maybe be able to flash them. But I'm not going to say anything more than that. I basically just stay away from them because they're useless. They're no good. And I'm rather disappointed actually. And if you enjoyed that video, please 
check back for more videos coming soon.